from Chickadee Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own salt wash using WCI white paint and sawdust. For those of you who don't know what salt wash is, it is a little powder that you add to your paint. Uh, this is the little can and the fine powder and this is a four ounces can and it retails for 20 Canadian dollars, which I think is very expensive, right? right? But I'm cheap. So for $20 for four ounces, a little can, I was a little disappointed. So I tried to find an alternative, saw dust. So it has pretty much the same consistency. It's very, very fine and it's free. So I wanted to show you the difference between the salt wash and the wood dust. So on a plain uh, pine board, I'm gonna make a mix of salt wash on the right and a mix of sawdust on the left. So I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of salt wash on the right and just, just a little pinch, as you'll be able to tell, of the sawdust on the left. Then I'm gonna use some Fancy Farm Girl from DIY Paint in both cups, just half a teaspoon also. So now I'm mixing real well uh, the paint and the products in both cups. As you can tell on the right, the mix with the salt wash is very, very thick. Uh, so I'm gonna add another teaspoon, another half a teaspoon of uh, paint in there and to give it a little um, more of a liquid uh, texture. Now I'm going to show you what the mix with the salt wash looks like. What I'm using is just a chippy brush. Uh, they're very cheap. You can find them on Amazon. Now do you see there's a the, little texture of uh, the salt wash which I love it gives it a little old uh, look like it's been sitting outside for a while and then I'm gonna use the same brush but I'm cleaning it and uh, use the mix with the sawdust it's uh, not as uh, thick as the first mix you'll be able to tell um, the paint is very thick, so what you'll see is actually um, uh, the paint itself and not really um, the grains or uh, the texture that uh, the sawdust does, uh, the salt wash does, excuse me. So I decided to put another little pinch of uh, wood um, dust in there and uh, try to get the same texture as the salt wash. I didn't add any more paint to that uh, mixture. So now I'm mixing all of this together and here is what it looks like. As you can tell, uh, the one on the right uh, really uh, looks very, very similar to the mix with the salt wash. So now what I'm going to do is speed up the drying process uh, with uh, my hair dryer. So as you can see, uh, the salt wash mix and the sawdust mix, mix on the right look very similar, but the one on the left uh, is missing some texture. And you can barely see the difference between the two uh, methods on the right. Now I'm going to give you a little close-up. Um, here, right here, you can actually see the first mix with uh, a little bit of sawdust. This one is with the salt wash and this one is with a little more, a little more uh, sawdust.
So there it is, a simpler alternative to your salt wash. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you can leave uh, comments uh, at the bottom um, if you have any question or anything. So uh, stay tuned because I have another DIY tutorial coming up very soon. So take care. Bye.